bus. You bloody ripper. Not much has happened here since I was last talking to you. Um, I've got a little, little drawing here for what the mother wants in her little nook off to the side of the kitchen um, to put a computer and sewing stuff little arts and crafts corner could possibly make us a little bit of money in that little space so I'll try and make that nice for her I'm hoping to have a majority of the inside fit out type stuff done after we've stayed here for a week I'd say there'll still be a few bits and pieces probably all the services type stuff be still be done in the, in the bin below but uh, it's getting close it's getting really close it's pretty bloody exciting <laughs> we'll try and get this baby started some right for some reason we got no uh oh shit this looks good um we've got no spark no nothing no lights come on in the dash must be a fuse or relay or something brand new batteries tried to fire up once we know we've got a bad starter motor lights came on once last weekend but turned the key back and uh Try to turn them on again, we got nothing. So, maybe an auto electrician jobby, but uh, hopefully, it's nothing major. I might even just get the key out and see, test me luck. But here we are. Work on this kitchen today I think no kiddos here try and get some shelving in down there I've got to get a measurement right in this section here we're going to put our sink in there and that drawing that I just showed you was over here which really is a lot smaller than what it looks in the drawing the mother always seems to do that. She thinks that I can fit a whole heap of stuff into a very small space. She's lucky I'm pretty good on the tools. <laughs> um, I'm bringing the fridge here tomorrow. So I've got to get all of those wires covered up. Get a bit of a door up here on that shelf. And our household fridge is going in there. Gas guy is coming. He was meant to come this weekend, but he's actually coming next weekend. So it gives us a bit more time to get the gas appliances sorted, which is only the stove, oven, and stove, and gas hot water. Still got a find a mounting place for that down below put a access door on that pretty sure I know where I'm gonna put it but I've got to sort that out yes so I'm gonna put those trims around the windows cover up all of these raw edges and all of the steel work I've got to finish the ceilings and cover up all of the wiring the wiring's all finished I've got a plan for this back wall here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put some shelving across there. Um, it's got an aircon going up there, which is going to be a bit ugly, but we're going to put some shelving across there um, with a bit of a screen over it. I'm going to try and match the screen that the kids have got on their bunks. And then we're going to put a little, some shelving down here and a little uh, drawer in here up to sort of mattress height. 
We'll put a little shelf across there at mattress height, which will have some sort of a hinge situation or a little hatch to be able to put our bits and bobs in. And uh, stuff the banks, I reckon. So the whole point in this for us is uh, being released from the control. Pure freedom. Um, what's uh, happening in here? So there's a whole heap of work to happen in here over the next week. I'm gonna get this cedar, which is gonna be so good. Um, put along this wall. We're gonna do like a, a curvy wave shape as the top, rather than just put a straight wall of cedar. Which I'd be happy with, but I think it'll look quite nice actually. My mother came up with that. Um, and we've got that mirror to be hung on here somewhere. We've got to make a vanity for that pretty cool rock sink. And I'm going to make a toilet. Now, we were going to buy a composting toilet. Turns out that a composting toilet is actually pretty darn simple. So, I've made everything else. I'm going to make the shitter. And I think it'll be pretty darn cool, actually. Just put bloody wood chips in there. Peat moss or some crap. And separate your poo from your wee and I don't know should be apples mate big ass saving um yeah I reckon we'll put the saving of the bloody toilet towards a battery why would you pay a thousand dollars for a bloody toilet anyway some people have got more money than cents We've got a whole heap of tile and doing there. We've got the tiles, those green subway looking tiles, which we're gonna do in a buddy hair and bone pattern. Which would be interesting. Not really done much tiling, but I reckon I'll be bloody good at it. As long as I start right. Should be right. Day. That's about it, mate. That's all I got for you. But, uh, I'll keep you posted. Oh, I just got to show you this because this here I've been wanting. I've been waiting on this until. It makes me so damn happy to have not that, <laughs> but not that. Oh, God, gee. look at it! Isn't it sexy? Ooh. I don't know. There's something about it. That's the newest addition. I've wanted Milwaukee gear in forever. And all it's taken is for me to work non stop for uh, however long it feels like a lifetime to finally get it. And hopefully, we all have a full kit together by the time we hit the road. So then I can roll into a town and. Uh, full kit of uh, cordless gear I can do a bit of work on the side um, you know, I sort of plan to work as I'm tripping around doing whatever so, yeah. that's my big boys toys <laughs> well, I did get a new tool belt too which is quite good and build pro.
Suits me quite well, I reckon. Nah. <laughs> Righto, let's get this bloody thing started. Let's test the luck. Gotta hook up the batteries first.
Let's give it one last try. On this relay. Let's switch. Need one side to the other. Sound of our home on wheels fired up. That's the sound of our engine, baby! <laughs> what do you reckon? 